Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look into um, what a lot of people have been asking questions about in the past two days. Well, Edge Chromium browsers. Um, of course, we have learned uh, several months ago that Microsoft Edge was replaced with Microsoft Edge Chromium browsers. They were actually rebuilding Edge from uh, scratch. Now, one of the things that a lot of you have seen this week is um, there was a, a, a few blog posts saying that the completed version was now available. Well, it's not. Actually, the versions that you get from the websites, from, you know, if you like, you just Google, you know, Microsoft Edge Chromium, uh, is actually the beta version. And actually, that's what it tells you when you actually launch it. So it's not a finished version. It's not finished yet. It still has uh, a certain way to go. Um, they are quite nice and honestly close to probably being ready, but they're not there yet. So um, if you are wondering if you can get that version, well, that's the beta version and you're not getting an official built or stable version of Edge as they call it. Yet, that said, if you do wish to try them out, uh, remember you can actually join uh, the uh, go to the Edge Insider page and download them from over there. They are very nice. They work great. Honestly, I've been having a great time using Edge Chromium. It is fast and it is, um, I think it's worth to take a look for those that actually want to uh, check them out. So. There's a few features. One that I kind of like that was added on, uh, I have it here on the Canary version, is the collections feature where you can add websites uh, in groups of collections, which is kind of nice, something that I do enjoy actually using a lot. Apart from that, you know, there's a lot of improvements, tracking, uh, there's tracking prevention stuff, there's um, privacy stuff in here, things that doesn't um, actually aren't showing up necessarily in uh, Google Chrome. So that's why Edge Chromium might be interesting because they're tweaking a little more on the privacy uh, of uh, the web browsing. And I think that is a, a nice uh, a nice added touch. And Microsoft does say that they don't want to have Edge Chromium being just a Google Chrome uh, lookalike or, you know, they, they will be, of course, advanced and they will have features that you don't usually see much in uh, the other browsers um, like Google Chrome. So uh, the link to the uh, download page is in the description below the video. If you want to have the most stable version of it, use the beta version um, because uh, edgeinsider.com, so this is the page where it uh, all happens. So you have the beta channel where you can actually download uh, like I said, there's three channels you can choose from Canary, Developer, and Beta. Canary is updated every day, but of course, you have the risk of added um, added problems because it's updated so often. Developer, updated weekly, that has maybe less problems, but it still can. You know, last week I had some crashes on the, uh, the uh, Developer one. It seems to be fixed this time around. And beta channel is probably the best that you can have because it's the one that's updated only every six weeks and it's probably the most stable of all of them. So, um, you know, you can actually try it out and um, use them as your uh, browser. If you're using the original Microsoft Edge from uh, Microsoft uh, from Windows 10, um, you know what? I tell you, download the beta one here and, um, you know, remove the original Edge from your from, from your use, because I mean, this is so much better than the original Edge. Uh, and it's faster in, in many, many respects. So uh, check it out. So the link to this will be in the description below the video where you can uh, get the Edge Chromium if you want to try it out. I think it's, it's worth to try it out, honestly. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.